Right. So we look at question number two. Uh, Li Ying, you read question number two. A continuous random variable x n 2.3 comma 0.16 state the mean and the standard deviation for this distribution. Okay, right. Now, uh, this one, n uh, x is distributed normally mean 2.3 variance 0 0.16. That's how we, we read it. Huh? So, but then uh, if you compare the one that is given with the normal standard way of writing x distributed normally with mean and standard deviation so when i compare these two oh the mean is 2.3 the standard deviation is 0 0.16 just by comparing the the one that they gave me with what i know so I compare then I say, oh, the mu is 2.3 lah. The mu is 2.3. Mu. Right? Okay, next one. Then the standard deviation is 0 0.6. But they don't want the standard, uh, the, sorry, the variance is 0 0.16. But they don't want the variance. They want the standard, uh, standard deviation. So we take square root, no? square root of this. What is it? 0 0.4. 0 0.4. Any question? No, teacher. No? Other girls? Got question or not? Other girls? Put up your thumb. No, no sir. Okay, no question. Uh, who? Ah, Ethan also no question. Very good. Okay. Sherwin, any question? Sherwin? No question. Put up your thumb. No, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, Li Ying, read question number one here. Exercise uh, 5.10. Oh, okay. The diagram on the right shows a normal distribution graph for a continuous random variable x. Take the mean of x. <coughs> Express the shaded region Q and R in probability notation. <laughs> if p x smaller than 80 equal to 0 0.6 and 7, 6, 3, 5, find probability x larger than 18 and probability x, small, x larger than 15, smaller than 18. Okay, now <clears throat> I ask you, what is the mean? You just look at the graph, can you tell me what is the mean? You just type on the chat there, tell me what is the mean of this distribution. What is the mean of this distribution? Just type in the chat there. Correct. Okay. Because the mean is the center line. Very good. The mean is the center line. So it is 15. X equal to 15 is the mean. Now, can you check whether 12 and 18, are they symmetrical about the line 15 or not? Yes. Symmetrical or not symmetrical? Yes. Yes. Symmetrical. Very good. Correct. It's symmetrical. How do you know it's symmetrical? The 12 and 18 how do you know they are because, symmetrical about 15? Because 12 to 15 are uh, 3 and then 15 to 18 3. Correct. So they are symmetrical. If they are symmetrical, what can you say about the area, the purple area? R and the purple area Q? Uh, they are symmetrical. Ah. Yeah, they are the, same. The area is the same. Correct. So uh, I go through with you uh, writing lah, huh? in writing. In writing, they mean uh, symmetrical about x. Symmetrical about x means the mu is 15. Uh, don't just tell me the mean. You write in simple because in the exam, they want to see your writing. So once you see the center line 15, you write down uh, mu equal to 15, right? Mu. Okay, right. Q, what is represented by Q? Q is the upper tail. The upper tail is x greater than 18. The area is probability of x greater than 18. Can someone tell me what is the this one? What is r? Um, r equal to probability x smaller than 12. Correct. Very good. So less than 12. 
Okay, then now they say this area here, this area here, probability of x less than 18 is 0 0.7 635 oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so can you tell me what is the probability of the unshaded part? Uh, 1 minus 0 point... Eh, wait ah. Uh. Unshaded part ah, uh, teacher. Ah, this one, unshaded part, the center part. Wait ah, uh, teacher. Or maybe can you tell me the area of Q first? What is the area of Q? Oh, okay. Hey, wait there, teacher. 0 0.2365. Ah. 0 0.2365. Okay. Then this is the area of okay. Q. What is the area of R? Also same. Very good. Very good. So can you tell me what is the center part here? Between 0 0.527. Okay, right. So the probability of x greater than 18, right? Greater than 18 is 1 minus less than 18. Uh, if I want to draw, it means like that. Lah. The probability less than 18 is this part, the whole thing. All this, all this, all this, right? This is less than 18 including the lower tail all this is less than 18 so what is the this one the q greater than 18 so you use 1 minus 0 0.67 uh, 7635 but this number 2365 is only this part is only this part now because of symmetry i know that this part also the same value so this two this this part and this part same both of them uh, 0 0.2365 okay this part also 0 0.2365 this part also 0 0.2365 so the center part you use one minus the two sides then you will get the uh, you will get the answer right so it is over here the answer is over here right hmm. answer is over here right what I am I doing? Okay, right. The answer is over here. Uh, mu is fifteen, right? Then uh, greater than fifteen. Oh, what what is this? Less than fifteen. Zero point five. Or oh, they say greater and less than also zero point five. So. Oh, they use another way of calculating. Between, right? Never mind. Uh, this one, we change it, right? We change it to this one. So, uh, area between, we use this one. 1 minus. 1 minus greater than, less than 15. Less than 15, then greater than 18. Okay? So, it is 1 minus, 1 minus this minus 0 0.2365 then minus okay delete eh? minus so what is the answer eh? minus this two uh 0 0.527 0 0.527 527 Zero. but the ah. but the other one not as uh, x smaller than 12 ah. sorry Oh, 12. Sorry, eh? 12. Sorry, it's 12. Oh, they want 15, eh? Oh, this is... Sorry, it's 12. Oh, they want 15, eh? Oh, this is... 15 and 18 or oh. if between 18 and 12 how much is it uh, Lee? 0 point uh, 0 0.527 but this one is for the unshaded region so it means I count for the smaller than 12 
Ah, uh, never mind. We finish Larger the distance first. Five what? Zero point five. Two seven. Five two seven zero. Seven. No zero. zero. Uh, okay, right. So uh, this is the center part, right? Now, if you want to find the the area between fifteen and eighteen, right? So if you want to find the area between fifteen and eighteen. Okay, I copy this first. Huh? Copy, edit, copy. Right. Hmm. So paste again. Paste. You want between 15 and 18. Half of it only, right? Half of it only. Now, uh, half of it is what? No? Between, half of it is this one. Huh? Let me clear the drawing first. Um, this one, huh? So now you want only this part between fifteen and eighteen. You want only this part, right? You want only this part. So this is between fifteen and eighteen. So you cannot use one uh, minus that number, right? You can because this part more than fifteen is zero point five. Less than fifteen is also zero point five, right? So we use 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus uh, greater than 18 greater than 18 so this one the one, eh? the one, the one. Good. so this is 0 0.5 minus how much is uh, greater than 18 0 0.2365 0 0.2365 okay and the answer is how much? 0 0.2365 0 0.2365 Okay, so um, that's how we find the answer, right? Using the area under the graph. Everything we try to interpret it as area under the graph. Okay, right. Next one. Number two. A continuous random variable x n mu 16 and is symmetrical at x equal to 12. Set the value of mu, sketch the normal distribution graph for x and the shape and shape the region representing probability x larger than 10, smaller than 15. Okay, right. So uh, they say the symmetrical at x equals to 12. Symmetrical at x equals to 12, that means what is the value of mu? Mu 12. is 12. So let's say if we sketch the graph, the center line will be, oh, what is this? The center line will be 12. The center line you label 12. Okay. And they want between 10 and 15. Uh, 10 is only two units away. 15 is three units away. So they are not symmetrical. So you draw the line, 10 nearer to 12 and you draw the line 15 further away from 12. So these two numbers, they are not symmetrical. Okay, right. So uh, this shaded area here represent, is represented by this symbol here. The probability of x between 10 and 15. Between 10 and 15. Any questions so far? No, teacher. No.